right now, I, Miss Rock, should be coming around with supplies. And if not right at this moment, then pretty soon. The supplies that you will have or that you will need before you get started is paper. This is painting paper. It's a little bit thicker. You need a pencil so that you can write your name on the back. You'll have a water cup, just a plastic cup with some water in it, a brush, and bleeding tissue paper. Bleeding tissue paper is just regular tissue paper that when it's made, they put ink into it. So that way, whenever you get it wet, the ink leaves it. In art, whenever something is called bleeding, all that means is that when you add water to it, the color spreads. So what we're going to do is add water to this so that the color leaves this tissue paper and goes into our painting paper. I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you don't have all of your supplies yet, pause the video now and wait for those things to get passed out. Okay, so to get started, you take your brush and you dip it in your water. If you have too much water on your brush, an easy way to do that instead of tapping it, which makes a lot of noise if everybody's doing that, so an easier and quieter way is to wipe the brush on the lip of the cup. Then you put a little tiny puddle of water on your paper, stick your bleeding tissue paper on top of that little puddle of water, and you should see it start to get darker. Just like your hair gets darker when your hair gets wet, the tissue paper will get darker as well. Then you want to get the entire square of tissue paper soaking wet. If the tissue paper isn't wet, then the color, the ink that's inside it, won't be able to leave it and go into the painting paper. And you can see like there's already some there. You want it to be all the way wet and sticking to your paper. Once this is dry, it'll end up drying overnight. We will take the paper off and it kind of sloughs off like a, a dried leaf. So I'll do this process again. Put water on the paper, then you put your tissue paper on top of that. And if you have any white spots, that's fine because we can overlap on top of it later. You'll see how it's getting wet. We want this to be fully saturated. For something to be fully saturated means that it's so wet that you couldn't add any more water. So if you think about a sponge, a sponge can hold water and you can keep adding more water and more water to the sponge, but at some point the sponge can't hold any more water and the water just runs through it because it's full. The same thing will happen with this paper. The paper can absorb the water, but at some point it gets full. And when it's full of water and can't hold any more, that's it, it being fully saturated. So we want to fully saturate the tissue paper with water and that pushes the ink out of the tissue paper and into our painting paper. So it's the same process over and over again. Add water to the paper, tissue paper on top of it, then add more water on top of that. Something you might notice is that as you're going, your first couple ones might start to dry out already. We don't want them to dry out today. If they dry out before the end of class, that means you probably didn't add enough water to begin with. So you go back and add a little more. And if it starts to come up like this, you can either just try and like pat it back down or you can just take another piece and overlap them. We don't have to make these in perfect rows. You can have them be angled and all over the place, that's fine. And you're going to cover this entire paper in squares. If you run out of squares, just raise your hand, let me know, I can come around and give you more. I'm only giving everybody a, like just a few of these because I'd rather come and give you more than give you a ton and then the room just become a wreck. So I'm only giving everybody a few of these at a time. So when you do run out, just ask for more, I'll come give you more. All right.
Now, I'm going to look and see if there's any spots that need to be covered up. Like I have here a couple of white spots that didn't get any color on them. So I'm going to overlap some pieces to, cover, to go back and cover up those spots. Now, once you're done, your name should be on the back. If your name is not on the back, then you're gonna have to write it in really tiny on the corner. So I really hope your name is on the back. So once you're done, you wanna put this on the drying rack, but you'll notice that when you pick it up, because it's so wet, it's gonna be really floppy and hard to get, to slide into one of those little shelves on the drying rack. So on top of the drying rack, I have some manila paper, but it's really thick manila paper. So you use, you put it on top of that thick manila paper and then you use that to slide it into the drying rack. If you have any questions, just make sure you ask, ask me, Miss Roth, when you're done. Okay, so if you have any other questions, please raise your hand. Don't just shout out. Raising your hand is the way to go. Help me out, help your class out, and let's be respectful. All right, this is really fun once you get it going and I hope that you do have fun.